Hey, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I want to show you five awesome ways of finger tapping. I drew inspiration for this video from my favorite math rock guitarists. I researched how they tapped and I listened to a lot of their songs and I studied their technique and I've compiled these into five categories. If you're saying to yourself, I don't like math rock, first, how dare you? <laughs> Just joking. And um, secondly, a lot of these uh, categories are used in many other styles of music and you've probably come across some of them before. So stick around and you might pick up something new. Number one, using finger tapping to play arpeggio licks or scale based licks. So what this is great for is it can make things easier to play. So let's say you have quite a hard um, arpeggio lick or quite a hard scale lick that you're trying to get down, then if you use finger tapping, you may be able to find you can voice it a bit easier and flow across to fretboard. And it's also great for um, if you want to make things sound a bit more fluid and legato-like. Two, using two-handed tapping in an alternating fashion to create some choppy rhythms. Number three, tapping with just your left hand on the fretboard. If you're a left hand guitarist, uh, this is going to be your right hand. And this is good for if you're trying some want something new to do with your tapping. It's also good for creating like little subtle parts or space within your songs. Um, it's quite challenging to do at first, but you can build up your strength and uh, you can get some really cool ideas from that. And it's also great for layering harmonies on with another guitarist, or you can do it yourself with a harmonizer pedal, or if you're recording, obviously you can just record another dub on top of that, much like this example. Number four, tapping whilst holding chords. So what I mean by this is if uh, you're fretting a chord uh, with your left hand and then you're tapping with your right hand. Uh, so what this is good for is it's good for creating space in your chord progressions. You know, if you're strumming all the time, you know, suddenly hit a chord and then you know, do some tapping, you hear this quite often. Uh, it can create some space and it brings in a new idea to the music as well. Uh, it's great for if you want to craft some new ideas. And also I find it's quite useful if you're just the only guitarist. So if you're only one guitarist in a band, then you know, if you're just going to be doing uh, two-handed tapping or one-handed tapping then maybe it can sound a bit empty but with the chord strummed underneath then doing some tapping on top you can keep that fuller sound that way Okay, and the last one, number five. This is going to be two-handed tapping using um, any multitude of fingers. So this is what you'll mostly hear in math rock and most technical styles of tapping. So this works very well in uh, different tunings, so alternate tunings and open tunings. If you combine it with a lot of open strings, you can create some kind of uh, technical sounding ideas without actually doing too much. But you can also go the other direction 
and you can use it uh, just to write technical things using, um, you can use up to four fingers that way and you can create some really technical ideas there. And the last one is you can impress all of your friends by showing off uh, with your new with your new skill of tapping with two hands, so <laughs> that's always the best one, right? <laughs> So there we have it, five awesome ways of finger tapping. Um, I hope you enjoyed them and I hope I've added something new to your knowledge or um, opened up some new doors for you there. So I want to lastly leave you with some records that I like uh, that do use finger tapping on them. And these were some inspiration for me uh, that got me into finger tapping in the first place. First album that I, first Maffy album that I got into that used uh, finger tapping and what got me really interested in finger tapping was the uh, album Doppelganger by The Fall of Troy. Uh, the first track on that just got this symphony going. It's a fantastic track. The tapping at the start of that I think I uh, spent months trying to learn that riff but I could never get it down. I could probably do it now but uh, it's, it's good fun to try and learn that one. Uh, my second recommendation is the By the End of Tonight slash uh, Caramelos split, a uh, complex full of phantoms. Um, so towards the end of this CD is the Terramelos side and the song Last Smile for Jaren is a really good um, song and it's got quite some technical tapping parts going on there. But it's a fantastic split so check that one out. And the last one I'll leave you with is Variations on Swing by Meet Me in St. Louis. Uh, this has got many different examples of types of tapping uh, all throughout the album and it's just a fantastic record all around. Um, so uh, what I'm interested in is what you like, um, what records do you like that contain finger tapping or what got you into finger tapping, you know, what songs or what bands. So uh, please share them below, I'm always interested in going to check them out and we can have a little conversation about it down there. As always, thank you for watching, um, you'll be able to get all of the tabs for the examples that were in this video over on my website, the link will be down below and if you'd like some merchandise then um, you'll find a link in the description and you can head over to my page I've got lots of things on there and anything you buy um, helps keep me going so thank you very much and I'll see you next time as always thank you for watching bye bye